Welcome back to Investor Intel at PDAC 2018. I'm pleased to be joined by George Glacier. And George is uh, not only the uh, president and CEO of Western Uranium, but really quite widely recognized as being an expert in the, both the uranium and vanadium spaces in, in North America. George, what's your thought on the state of the uranium market? It's been pretty tough for a long time. Well, that's right. You know, ever since Fukushima, you know, we've seen the price decline to probably the lowest in, in, in dollars that it's been maybe ever if you take the low prices we had back in the, the 80s and 90s and bring that up for inflation, we're probably at a low. But, you know, that could change and it's expected to change. But when is the big question? And uh, any of the political things going on right now that you think could impact that market? Well, you know, there's things that have gone on already that will impact the market given time. You know, the chemical cutback of production, the Kazakhs uh, announcing they're cutting back. Those things are going to influence the market. How long it takes, a year, two, three. But what's going on just recently in the U.S. is a petition filed under the section of the law. The same that the, the U.S. steel and aluminum producers just apparently got some relief under. That's been filed on the behalf of the uranium industry in the U.S. That's the political issue that's yet to be determined. But if that happens and that's successful, you're going to see, in my opinion, two-tier pricing pretty soon, where U.S. uranium could be worth two to three times the world price. Good stuff. Vanadium, you know, it's been very, uh, you know, it's performed a lot different than uranium recently. What are we seeing in the vanadium market and what do you see moving forward? Well, you know, a lot of that is in relation to the Chinese cutting back production of vanadium from their small steel mills. Right. If that continues, we've got an out of balance where we're consuming more vanadium than we're producing. So that's what's driven the price up. Now that brings on new production. Maybe the Chinese come back in. So the vanadium market, even though it's recovered nicely, I'm not sure what the direction is in the next year or two, you know, because the Chinese have a big control of that market. And if they think vanadium prices are too high, they may turn on some of that shutdown production. Wow. Well, that's kind of the opposite of what I was expecting from you as far well, as uranium you know, I'm, I'm, so that's great. I'm positive about vanadium, but vanadium is, is gone up and down. You look at the chart, of it goes up and it goes down. A lot of it is, is byproduct production. You know, right. It comes out of steel slag. So that can come on when the price is high or it could come on you know, just because of political issues in China. Fantastic. Well, George, thank you very much for your time today. It's been a pleasure having you on, and we'll talk to you again soon. Okay. Thank, thank you. you.